I'm building a, a, a parametric grid um, that I'm 3D printing, and I'm, I'm going to be hanging this grid in our gym. And then you can put all these hooks into this mm. grid and hang up all the different attachments for the gym. And normally this stuff is you just print off a sheet of it. Uh, you print off as many as you want, and they all click together, and, and you're, you're up and running. However, because I want to put a nice border around it, I realize it's much more complicated because I need a top right, bottom left. Like it, It's basically the sliding panels of CSS in real mm. life. I need... The, I need the corner pieces. I need totally. the, the tops, the bottoms, the lefts, the rights, and the internal pieces. It's nine different possible pieces. And I was like, man, I'm having a hard time visualizing this. So I started scribbling it down on a piece of paper to try to visualize what I needed. It's a four by six grid. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start prompting my way into this. So I built totally. a little yeah. thing that I said, I have a four by six grid. And I need to define what each of the edges are called, right? Top left, top right, edge right, edge left, et cetera, internal. And then I just I just kept saying, good, now visualize it. Good, now make me a cut mm -hmm. sheet of how many need to be printed for each piece. And like that took me like 15 minutes. And I was just like, that would have taken me much longer. And I don't have a, a nearly as nice of a visualization if I were to build this myself, I probably would not have built it myself. I probably would have made a spreadsheet or, or a piece of paper or something like that. 